Namaste. Welcome back to Vox Terra. Today, headline from CNN, heavy rain, floods, and lightning leave dozens dead in India and Bangladesh. June 21, 2022. Note also, at least 84 people have died in landslides, lightning strikes, and flash floods. Roads, highways, underwater as parts of India and Bangladesh hit by historic flooding. Okay, so let's just break down those climate change mechanisms of historic flooding, lightning, flash floods, and landslides that I think most of the media is ignoring. You know why I think they're ignoring it because of the influence of the petrochemical fossil fuel industries and just the fact that scientists tend to talk in terms of probability. So all these events stem from the fact the earth is hotter. According to NASA, it's now two Fahrenheit degrees hotter since the era of fossil fuel burning began the industrial revolution. According to NOAA, we're still putting around an average of 40 billion tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year, primarily from fossil fuel burning. So the historic flooding, for one, is in part due to citing the NRDC's article about floods and climate change. When you, you've got this hotter atmosphere, it just holds on to more moisture. It's pulling more out of the soil. The hotter ocean gives up more. And to wit, there is more moisture in our atmosphere now. That I'm citing to you from Scientific American, which is citing NOAA. So now this speeding up of the water cycle, citing to NASA. So now when it rains, it pours. Also, there's the same mechanism causes these flash floods to be more frequent. As we see at the EPA's Climate Change Indicator website, the incidence of extreme extreme one-day precipitation events have been steadily rising. Well, how about lightning? Even that's heat-related. From Science 2014, lightning occurs more frequently when it is hotter than when it is colder. And they, they're citing a study that predicts the number of lightning strikes will increase by about 12% for every degree of rise in global average temperature. That lightning also sparks wildfires when everything's getting dry, hot, and dried out. Well, these hot, dry conditions, followed by these extreme wet conditions, and even interspersed with fires, are going to increase the likelihood of mudslides and landslides. It's that whiplash effect we're experiencing more of now. Well, hey, I hope you found this breakdown of the climate change mechanisms ushering in these extreme floods and disasters helpful and useful in terms of your own political analysis and who you're going to be voting for or what you're going to who you're going to donate to that kind of thing. And until next time, and as always, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. You click the notification bell. You're commenting, you're liking, donating at Patreon, and peace be with you.